Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my November favorites. Yes, I know, we're already almost a week into December. So it's a little bit late, but better late than never. Um, I don't have very many products this month. I just kind of have been in a rut and using the same stuff that I used the month before. So, just a few products. Let's start with hair. Um, I tried, I have been using L'Oreal Smooth, whatever it is, Smooth something, um, in the black bottle with the pink lid. Um, and I really, really love that. It works really well with my hair. But I saw this L'Oreal Paris Hair Expertise Ever Curl in the store, and I wanted to try it because having naturally curly hair, when I see something that's specifically for curly hair, I always try it just because you never know if it's going to work better than what you've already been using. Never know until you try. So I grabbed these and it says for wavy to tight curly hair. It's got a little, um, I don't know if you can see it, a little like thing up here um, that tells you what kind of hair it's for. So this says Ever Curl Sulfate Free Curl Care System Hibiscus Grape Seed Hydro Charge Shampoo Non Drying Anti Frizz System Natural Botanicals. I really like this stuff. It is a little more perfumey than the typical shampoo that I've been using. Um, other than that, I really really like it. It does make my hair less frizzy and I usually go at least two days between washing my hair. Most of the time I wash my hair every three to four days um, and when I use this I notice that my hair is less frizzy, it maintains its curl better, um, and I can still smell the shampoo-y smell, you know, like after you get out of the shower, your hair really, really smells strongly of shampoo and conditioner. And most of the time, my hair will maintain that smell for a day, maybe two. But th with this, it maintained it for four days. That's pretty intense. So anyway, I do really, really like these. Uh, the next product is... Let's go to brushes. So I recently made my first purchase with D&H Cosmetics and um, I got a brush kit and an eyeshadow palette. And I'm in love. Like now I want everything. Much to the dismay of my husband. Sorry, honey. Um, so I picked up this it's in this roll like this. Uh, it's the pink set. Um, so yeah, this has just a, seriously, um, just a powder brush, a blush brush, a fan brush, uh, an eye spoolie, an eyebrow brush, or eyelash brush, sorry. Uh, and then an assortment of different shadow brushes, liner brushes, all that good stuff. So with this, this is pretty much every brush that you'd need to complete, do a complete look. Um, but I really, really love these. They're they're good quality. They're soft. Um, the brushes that need to be dense are dense. The others are just fluffy and soft, and I really like these brushes. All right, the next thing is my favorite foundation from November. If you've watched my Get Ready With Me videos, this is not gonna be a surprise. It's my Revlon Color Stay in Fresh Beige. I used this foundation, I think, almost every time I did my makeup in the month of November. There may have been a couple of times where I used a different, I think I used my L'Oreal True Match once 
my L'Oreal Lumi once, and my CoverGirl 3-in-1 once. The rest of the time I was using this. I love it. It's full coverage. It does not, it's not cakey on me. I try to do like thin layers, but still make it full coverage where it needs to be. Like I always have redness in my cheeks, so I add a little bit more just in that area. Um, but I freaking love this foundation. It's awesome, especially for drugstore. I mean, there are some drugstore foundations that are total crap. Let's just face it, total and complete crap. And then there are a few that are really good, comparable to higher end foundation that you can get from the drugstore. So I have two foundations from the drugstore that are decent enough full coverage that I really don't feel the need to go out and spend a ton of money on a high-end foundation right now. So I use my Revlon. Love this one. And I know I'm kind of rambly in this video, huh? Oh well. Um, the next product I got from my Glossy Box um, a couple months ago. This is Cryolan uh, Highlighter in Cashmere. And I freaking love this. It's so, so, so pretty. It's a cream highlight. And... I don't know if you can see it. It's right up here. I just, I love it. It's really nice. It's light enough that it's not like, ba-bam, you know. Um, but it's just really pretty. Love it. And it doesn't feel greasy or oily when you put it on your skin or anything. Okay. Let's talk eyeshadow. I have three palettes this month that are my favorite. And... I use them all pretty equally. I really, really enjoyed these. Um, the first one is the BH Cosmetics Wild at Heart. And this is a baked eyeshadow palette. I love it. I just love it. The colors are so vibrant. Just absolutely in your face. Color. Highly pigmented. Absolutely love. There's one shade this one right here that does not like I'm rubbing really hard and nothing is coming off on my finger nothing I don't know what the hell is wrong with that shadow but I've tried multiple times to get anything from it and I get nothing everything else though just love absolutely love all right so the next two palettes that i really love again if you watch my get ready with me not going to be a surprise the smoke okay the smoky palette from nyx and the adorable palette from nyx i love both of these they're so pretty they're really easy to work with highly pigmented in the darker colors this pink is not really super pigmented um, but that's just because it's a light color and, you know, um, but I just, I love them. You can create simple, everyday, really wearable looks, or you can create a dark, smoky eye. It just depends on your mood, but yeah, I really, really love these palettes. And I'm going to go back and get the other ones that I didn't get the other day. Um, so anyway... That's my favorites for November. Uh... <sighs> I come into the light here. All right, let's knock out another video. Folded. All right, so here's the full kit. Um, 
again, you can tell my own baby's way, way too much of my day. Um, yeah, I'm totally into those bright colors. Um, so then the next, let me wipe that off. I don't want to be getting shadow everywhere. Okay. Oh, oh, shit.